welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be another fall inspired makeup tutorial this is my second look this time I wanted to go for something a little extra I went with a really dark almost black lip and a really nice cut crease look this video was supposed to be drugstore and then I completely forgot about it but I did use a lot of products that are pretty affordable including the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 palette which a lot of you guys asked me to do a makeup tutorial so here it is I'm really digging this look it's very like vampy and like gothic almost so I really hope you guys enjoy it as well and if you want to know how I got this dramatic I don't know what I'm gonna call it cut crease makeup look then just keep on watching so today I'm going to start a little bit different. I'm actually going to go in and just apply the primers that I use on my face. So I'm going to be mixing my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I'm going to use a couple of drops of this Tatcha Gold's Camellia Beauty Oil. This is for face, body, and hair. And then for my eyes, I've been using this Olay Regenerous. Um, it's an eye serum. This is what it looks like. And I just apply a couple of dots on my eyes and then just blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and use my primer. This is the number 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I like to work it in between my fingers just to warm up the products and then I'll apply it where I get oily which is here, my nose, my forehead and my chin. So for today I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation and I use the color 3W2 Cashew. So now for concealer, I'm going to use the Master Conceal and I use the color Light Medium. To set my concealer, I'm going to take the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm just going to be baking underneath the eye. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to bronzer. This is a Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 22 Sun Bronze. Now I'm going to move on to highlight and I'm going to take this highlighter by Laura Mercier. It's a highlight, matte radiance, baked highlight in 01. Apply it to my cheeks. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and excuse this finger, it's missing a nail. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. So now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Le Palette 2 Nude 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking this purple right here, which is number 2 on the palette. And I'm going to apply that directly onto the crease. I did get some fallout, but that's okay. We can clean up that later. When I get here, I'm going to wing it out. I'm going to go back into that palette and I'm going to take this color, which is number five on the palette. And I'm going to use that just to deepen up that crease a little bit more.
And then the last color that I'm going to go in just to deepen up just a tad bit is the very last color on the palette. And it's this dark purple. And that is number one on the palette. I'm going to take a flat brush like this. This is the Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush. So now that I've got everything blended, we're actually going to go in and cut the crease. This is the most simple way for me. I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone. You can use any concealer you have. This is just easier for me because it's a little bit of a thicker consistency. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this. This is from the Urban Decay 3 palettes. If you have that, use this side. Just any flat brush that you have. Just pack it on with concealer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just literally carve out the crease like that. And then I'm going to take a vanilla shade, again, anything that you have. I'm just going to take this one. This is the Luxie number 111. Now I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. So now that the eyes are done, we can go ahead and move on to the lips so we can finish off this look. I'm going to be using these two ColourPop, uh, what are these, the Ultra Matte Lippies. I'm first going to take this purple and this is an Bedazzled. And then I'm going to take a little bit of, what is this, Guess, just to make it a little bit more vampy and dark. After you've applied your lipstick you are all done with this makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did as always don't forget to give me a thumbs up and that is everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video